Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006, the hydrosphere. Uh, now, we were talking about metal ions in solution, and now, as promised, I'm going to tell you about the hard soft acid base theory. It's really useful. What is it? The hard soft acid base theory um, is a way to calculate whether salts will be soluble or not. Um, When we come to calculating equilibrium concentrations of various metals in solutions, um, it's helpful to know if a particular salt is going to be soluble or not soluble. In other words, for example, if we have a weak acid, um, it, it's good to know if that acid is weak from the outside, just from our chemical knowledge. But look, our brains aren't big enough to store all those K constants, so we need some kind of rules to simplify that. Uh, so it's really helpful if the negligible species, the ones that don't dissociate very much, can be identified and eliminated, at least in your thinking in the first stage. So how do we do that? Uh, well, there's two basic rules. First, a species will tend to be negligible in concentration if it has a small stability constant, obviously. If there's a small beta constant, it's not going to form. Um, and the second... Uh, thing in this category is if there's not much of the species initially of the ligand it's also then the complex is going to be negligible so the first thing covers a small foot stability constant and a small concentration of ligand that's pretty obvious all right well, what if the concentration uh, isn't small and uh, what if the formation constant well what if we don't know Okay, well then we have to use the hard soft acid base theory to predict that. Okay, so here's the rule. The rule is hard likes hard. That means a hard species likes a hard species and a soft species likes a soft species. So hard and hard has strong interactions forming uh, large formation constants and soft species like soft interact, uh, soft ligands and they also form uh, uh, strong interactions, meaning to say that they're very insoluble. So that's the rule. Like, likes, like. Um, the second rule is hard, hard is weaker than soft, soft. And the third rule, uh, hard, hard, soft is absolutely negligible. A hard acid with a soft base is uh, negligible. Uh, so how does that work? Okay, well, let's look at the sub-rules here. Most of it's in the first rule. Hard-hard uh, interactions are known as iron pairs. Um, for example, an iron pair is something that's quite highly charged. So, uh, something like iron 3 plus with uh, something which is clearly negatively charged, like, uh, oh, I don't know, um, nitrate, NO3, minus or phosphate PO4 3 minus uh, those are well actually that's a little bit soft that interaction so hard hard are known as iron pair interactions they're like ionic interactions so ions like each other right so hard likes hard now in this case uh, K increases with the cation charge so an iron 2 plus interacting with something will some hard iron will be weaker than an iron 3 plus, or said the other way, iron 3 plus has a stronger interaction with a corresponding negative iron pair. Uh, K plus increases with decreasing radius, so that's charge density. If we have a small iron which is negatively charged, it has a lot more power to attract a positive guy because it can get closer to it, so it forms stronger ionic interactions. Likewise, an iron which is small and highly positively charged can get close to a corresponding negatively charged species and it, uh, which has a, and it will for have a stronger interaction. So K increases with decreasing radius or increasing charge density for hard, hard like we interactions. Those are three rules for hard type interactions and soft, soft is very easy. Soft-soft type interactions involve the interactions of two polarizable 
species, meaning to say that the electrons can move around on those species quite easily. They're not highly charged. So those kinds of things form dative bonds and their bonds are a little bit more chemical. Soft-soft interactions are covalent. Covalent type interactions tend to be the strongest. Those are the strongest because electron pair sharing bonds are stronger than ionic bonds, generally speaking. So soft likes stuff, uh, hard likes hard, but soft is actually, soft soft is stronger than hard hard. So hard hard is weaker than soft soft. The K trends are a little bit irregular for soft soft type interactions because they're chemical. You have to know something about the chemistry. Okay, so what do these terms hard and soft refer to? Hard refers to a, hard, a, a shell of tightly held electrons and soft refers to a shell of polarizable electrons, electrons that can form chemical bonds. So this theory is uh, a very nice theory uh, uh, from Pearson. It has both uh, an empirical basis, he, dis uh, he discovered it just by inspiration, but there is a theoretical justification as well developed by uh, Bob Parr and, uh, and Gillespie using the density functional theory, which received the Nobel Prize in 1999, although Robert Parr didn't get the Nobel Prize for that. Perhaps he should have. See you later. <laughs>